Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Anyway, today I'm going to discuss about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Antiki Tech Research Archive. Please check the description to know more about the channel. By the way, I also have a telegram channel that I just created. There I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Antiki Tech Study We are in the age of documentation. Being born into the modern day gives us access to modern equipment such as cameras, which are more readily available than ever. Politicians of the modern day walk on stage prepared to speak to the public, knowing that they are being recorded and viewed from as many angles as possible. Everyone today has access to cameras. But this wasn't always the case. Back in the day, in the 1800s, not very many people had access to cameras. In any such event, you would have a few camera setups and that's it. That is all the hard documentation you get for any event you go to see. Whether that be the world's fairs, the civil war, or the great fires. Why is this important? In an age of little documentation, it is very easy to lie. I can lie about what started the fires in the 1800s, and with enough money and power, it can be established as truth. How does this help us understand antique tech? Imagine a group of very rich and powerful men. They own the banks, railroads, energy sources, and school curriculums. They have one job, to maintain their wealth and power. Any kind of competition that comes their way, they will do everything in their power to destroy it. And by destroy, I also mean completely wipe it from history, and change school curriculums to never speak of it in a classroom again. Antiki Tech is one of the major competitors to their energy industries. It is essentially how get free energy. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something, and, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. What is free energy? It's more of a slang term for atmospheric electricity, or electricity from the air. Ether, or either energy, if you will. The reason it is called free, is because you don't have to pay for it, the antique tech devices harness the energy themselves. Why hide this from us? Because it would put the current energy industries completely out of business instantly. The energy industries are among some of the biggest elite class moneymakers in the world. This revelation is not like others that the elite class don't want you knowing, like crime statistics or the science of race and gender. No, this forgotten tech will single-handedly destroy the energy industries. So, you can bet that they work overtime to make sure the people don't know it even exists. This also means heavily altering our history and redesignating the antique tech devices. These antique tech devices are things we have all seen before, but we know them by different names. What is antique tech? Antique tech is a blanket term to describe old lost technology relating to atmospheric electricity. Many of these devices either harness or use this energy. How is atmospheric electricity harnessed? Electricity is running through the air around you right now. The higher elevation you are, the more electricity is around you, plus 100 volts each meter. You do not feel a shock because you are on the ground, acting as a conductor. Essentially, there exists a downward electrical current in the air of positive ions. There is a way to attract this energy when grounded using a long rod. This rod is negatively charged elections running through it that it gets from being grounded. The high elevation of the tip of the rod means the rod is close to high voltage. 
the positively charged ions in the air, attract the negatively charged electrons from the rod, creating electricity in the rod. How is this useful? It is essentially a clean infinite energy source. There is no need to pay for anything, except for the equipment required, and there is no pollution involved whatsoever. This energy source, when used to its fullest potential, will change our way of life for the better, at zero cost to the environment. All of our electrical equipment could be powered this way, without the owner paying a single dime. This source of energy was used commonly before the 19th century, and we can see remains of this technology everywhere in the world today. It is especially common in old 19th and early 20th century photographs. What are examples of antique tech? Quite literally entire buildings. Take a look at the old grand structures from before the 20th century. They have a common theme to them, and when you see it, you can't unsee it. I'm talking capital buildings, cathedrals, towers, and more. The common parts found on these buildings or cities are long rods, conductive ornaments or material, symmetrical designs, magnetron windows, the list goes on. The old cities were designed like circuit boards. Let this statement sink in. The people from the past built buildings that happened to be of conductive material, put ornaments on the roofs that happened to be highly conductive, built windows that happened to be shaped exactly like magnetrons, built tons of giant monuments that happened to be shaped like magnets. Right in the middle of cities they built, that just happened to be shaped like circuit boards, and we are to believe they knew almost nothing about electricity. Give me a break. It's just laughable how messed up our historical narrative is. Time to get out of our comfort zones, to question the swamp of half-truths we call the mainstream historical narrative. Next time, we will look at the specifics in how the buildings operated. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.